Hey, brother, can you help me with this homework? Uh, sure, which one is it? Yamato, your brother is studying now, so don't interrupt him. Oh, sorry. It's okay, Mom. I was going to start studying in half an hour anyway. Oh, really? Finish it within half an hour, Yamato. My name is Yukito Kisaragi. My younger brother, Yamato, who is two years younger, not very good at studying. Sorry, big brother. What are you talking about? You don't have to worry about what Mom says. In spite of his poor academic performance, Yamato is full of charm and has a much better sense of humor than me. He's a natural at making people smile. He's cheerful and kind, and people always gather around him. I like my brother like that. <laughs> Thanks, as always. I'm only good at studying anyway. In contrast, I grew up living up to my parents' expectations, and... I'm just a dull person who likes studying, which I hate myself for. From my parents' perspective, I'm their current pride and joy, but for that reason, they're cold towards my younger brother. I think it would be more balanced if our strengths and weaknesses were clearly divided, rather than being similar siblings. Huh? I wonder why someone who's only good at studying is called upon in times of need for various sports matches and has made a name for himself in archery competitions. They're just being nice because I spend all my time reading books. It's not like that. Uh, of course not. More importantly, Yamato, you should move out of this house after you graduate from high school. Stay at home until you can live on your own. What do you want to do after you graduate from high school? I don't really feel like going to university. I understand. My parents wanted to send both my brothers to elite universities, but they gave up on my younger brother early on and pinned their hopes on me. My parents, who were very keen on education, seemed to be stifling my younger brother's individuality. I didn't want to see them treat him coldly, so I became the ideal son in order to win them over, even if only a little. My parents think that I would never do anything wrong. They would listen to my opinion. Dad, I got an A for my first choice in the last mock exam. I see, that's great. Thanks. Now I have a question for you. If I get into the school you want me to go to, would it be okay if Yamato and I rent a room near the university and live together after he graduates from high school? I can understand if it's for Yukito, who's going to study at a prestigious university, but I don't have the money to pay for someone who doesn't even know what they're going to do after graduating high school. Both me and Yamato will be working part-time. It's not good to be relying on our parents all the time, and it's also necessary to learn about society. Well, if you get into your first choice school, it'll be a bit far from home. But if you're going to move, why not wait until you start university? No, we'll leave together when Yamato graduates from high school. I'll send you money regularly once I get a job, and Yamato will get his act together once he's decided what he's going to do, right? Well, if he's with Yukito, he won't be able to play around. I have fun when I'm with Yamato, and I'll make sure not to worry Mom and Dad because I'm with him. Right, Yamato? Yeah! As long as Yukito keeps a close watch, it seems like he won't get into any trouble or get involved in anything stupid. Don't get in Yukito's way, okay? Yamato has never caused me any trouble before. The story came to a successful conclusion. I enrolled in the university my parents wanted me to go to, and I commuted from home until I turned 20. My younger brother seemed to have something he wanted to do, but I didn't ask him about it in depth while he was at home. And then, at the same time Yamato graduated from high school, we moved into the apartment we had been targeting, and the two of us started living together. I know it's a bit late to say this, but thanks, brother. I'm sorry, because I'm stupid. You were forced to study and meet our parents' expectations, weren't you? Didn't you have your own dreams? Dreams, huh? I've thought about running a restaurant or something, but I don't really have any clear dreams. Don't you have any dreams, Yamato? 
Yeah, I want to become a comedian. It makes me so happy when people laugh at the things I do. So I want to go to a comedy school. If I say this, mom and dad would pass out laughing. Comedy, huh? You can do it. You've made so many people smile. If you have a dream, let's work hard together. Let's work part-time and save up enough money to go to school. We're already in a place where we're not tied down by our parents, so we should just do what we want to do. Did you know everything, brother? You knew what I wanted to do, and that's why you took me away from home. Just wanted to get out of that stuffy house. Let's just focus on our dreams and move forward together. Yeah, I, I'll do my best. If he didn't like the house, he could have left me behind when he entered university. He's always protected me since I was little. All right, I'll definitely become a comedian for my big brother. One year later, I'm off. Wait, you forgot your lunch. Oh, sorry. Have high hopes for dinner. You've got a stage performance on Sunday, so I'll be in charge of dinner for a while. But make sure you get a good laugh on stage. You're the best, bro. I'll make them laugh for sure, so wait like you're on a sinking ship. See you later. A sinking ship. <laughs> That's not good. We worked hard at our part-time jobs, and Yamato started going to comedy school. It seems like there are a lot of difficulties and hardships, but it looks like he's having a lot of fun. Well, I'd better get ready for my internship, too. Four years have passed since then. I'm working at a top-class company that makes my parents very happy. Yamato has teamed up with a woman called Harukawa Yomi, whom he met at school. They aren't successful yet, but they're working hard as comedians. This turn of phase is not funny here. This one is definitely better. Uh, but it's better to do it this way for now because it connects to what happens later. You'll get more lost if you just go for it. Hey, Yukito-san. I'm definitely funnier, right? Don't be ridiculous. My brother has been living on my comedy ever since he was born. I'm better, right? <laughs> You're both funny. He's a genius at keeping things under control no matter what he says. All right, Yamato. Let's settle this with a fist. No way! You knocked out those punks the other day, didn't you? These two have good chemistry, and their personalities just ooze goodness. Only a matter of time before they become successful. These two are working towards their dreams. They really do shine. A short time later, I ignored my parents' objections and quit my job at a prestigious company to open a Japanese-style pub. However, our parents started coming to our apartment to lecture us about what people would think. So after discussing it between the two of us, we moved out without telling our parents. I'm so glad your dream came true. What a nice store. Watching you two made me want to chase my dreams too. This is the first time we've both lived on our own, but if anything happens, you can call me anytime. I'll continue to support you. Yeah, we're having a live show soon, so come and see it. Of course, you can come to the shop to eat any time. You can come with Yomi-chan, too. Yeah! Yamato and I were probably worried about living alone. I wasn't able to settle down for a while after the room that was always bright and full of laughter became a dark and quiet room. But we both went our separate ways and our parents would sometimes come to the shop, and Yamato would often come with his fellow comedians and Yomi-chan. I thought we could keep going like this forever, but... In the fourth year, I was betrayed by the assistant manager, who took all the staff and customers with him, and I was in danger of going out of business. I trusted you. It's not just the staff, you even lied to the internet and customers to make me look bad. If you had any complaints, you should have told me. Uh, today, I've come to the cave where they say ghosts appear. I'm scared of ghosts! I'm so scared! 
Run away, ghost! Even ghosts won't be spared by this person! I'm scared because physics don't apply! He's a total star! Even on TV, he's shining! <laughs> The shop stopped getting any customers at all. This included the parents. My parents suddenly started fawning over Yamato. And as the parents of a popular comedian, they were interviewed in magazines and other publications. They were showing off episodes of being good parents that I had never seen or heard of before. Will my dream end like this? Um, are you open? Uh, yes, welcome. That's great! This is Yamato's older brother shop, right? Yes! I knew it! Yamato-san has been advertising this place a lot recently, so I've been wondering about it. Uh... I know. Yamato knowing my situation talks about me in his comedy skits. Even on TV shows, he talks about my shop and stories involving me. In this day and age, if you do a search, you'll find out that the popular comedian's brother owns a restaurant. Just by Yamato talking about me, there are lots of people who are interested in me. This became a form of advertising, and since Yamato and Yomi-chan came in at least once a week, the number of customers gradually increased. Ah, uh, my older brother is the only family I have. He's just too kind-hearted, so he's easily cheated by bad people. Thanks to that, the shop is completely empty. But it's convenient for me to come here. He's laughing, but he's actually crying his eyes out backstage. He cries whenever and wherever, saying he wants to help his brother. So I've been in an awful mood every day recently. He loves Yukito-san too much. I love him more than anyone else in the universe! Of course I want to cry! Well, even I would fall for a guy like that. Handsome, kind, and caring for his little brother. Thanks to the two of them, the shop became popular after being introduced on TV and in magazines, and Yamato came several times with TV crews, which also helped the shop become more popular. In addition, some of the former staff members who had left, believing the assistant manager's lies, came back to the restaurant, apologizing for their actions. The assistant manager's tyranny and the fabrication of my bad reputation spread. As a result of my own efforts, including the involvement of a lawyer, it took some time, but the assistant manager's shop went out of business. But I hear that Yamato's older brother's restaurant is really popular. It's all thanks to everyone. He's become a bit sloppy with my cooking lately, though. I hear that your parents go there a lot, too. It's nice that you're all close and eat together as a family. Well, as for me, I'm only getting close to them because I'm popular right now. My father used to treat me poorly because I was such a bad son, and my mother was always telling me to get out of my brother's way. The only family member I have is my brother. Really? In magazines and stuff, it seems like you guys are really close, and there are lots of warm family stories. Uh, they might be mistaking themselves for someone else. What? What? Homemade cakes from my mother being a tradition on my birthday? I've never had one. Only my older brother used to celebrate my birthday every year. The cakes he makes are so delicious. Oh, I've been getting one every year since we formed a duo, too. At first, I thought it was something bought in a store. But when they both told me it was homemade, I was surprised. Huh, I guess that's what you call toxic parents. So is it awkward when you see them in the store? Ever since my brother's shop started going downhill, they stopped coming around. But they recently started showing up again. The other day they were told to never come back, so I don't think we'll ever meet again. I've heard that your brother is a kind person who never gets angry. I guess he gets really angry when he does. When my parents were cold to me, he would get angry while smiling. But when he told them not to come back, he wasn't smiling, he was just angry. It was my first time seeing him like that, so it was a new discovery. I see. Well, the more I hear about him, the more I realize what a good person he is. But you really love him, don't you? <laughs> 
<laughs> this again. I've already told you not to talk about me so much. When did he buy that outfit? I want a different color too. I'll ask him next time. Just as Yamato had said, I told my parents who showed up after the shop's business had picked up. No, I couldn't have said it on TV, but I also told my parents at the time that if they continued to try to get close to us, I would consider cutting off all contact with them. I couldn't say I would cut them off clearly for various reasons, but it doesn't mean that I don't feel any gratitude at all. At the very least, both me and Yamato are here because we had parents. Yamato has also had similar experiences in the past. I hope that our parents will maintain a good balance between the emotional distance they've created between us and themselves. Yamato, he's talking about his older brother. He don't run for me. Do you understand? Hey, do you understand? That's right, Yamato. Gradually hold back my stories. I got plenty of stories with Yukito too, you know. You'll become a bro con comedian who loves Yukito's son. I'm just flattering him, you know. Wait, something's not right. Oh, it's been a while since I heard you call me Big Brother Yuki. When he gets drunk, he sometimes calls me that. Well, well, you two, stop it. Yukito-san won't make up your mind! Who do you like? That's right! Since we're at it, I want you to clearly say who you like! Me or Yomi! Isn't that beside the point? I like both of you! Ugh, I'm so happy, but it's frustrating! Did you hear that? He likes me more, ha! Huh? He didn't say that, you idiot! Huh. <laughs> I've always admired Yamato's carefree personality. I can't make people's hearts feel warm and fuzzy like Yomi-san and Yamato do when they're together. Thanks to Yamato, no. Thanks to the two of them, I can smile today too. I hope I can continue to spend time laughing with the two of them, who are like the sun. Yukito-san was a really wonderful older brother, so I'm curious to see which of them, Yamato-san or Yomi-san, Oh, and Yukito-san's heart. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.